Welcome back to my channel, baby dolls. As always, you know I'm super excited you guys decided to watch one of my videos. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to get this super cute faux lock thing. I'm starting on a couple days old hair. It's not freshly washed. It can be, you know, it honestly does not matter how you start this style off. But the first step is to figure out where you want your bang. Figure out the lock pieces that you want to create the bang and separate that. We're gonna work on that piece first. And what we're gonna do is just grab our favorite styling gel, styling mixture, water, oil, whatever. And we're just gonna do a quick retwist on those locks in the front, just so that we have a nice little tight base. And then we're gonna go to the next step. The idea is not to be super perfect with this retwist. The idea is just to make sure that you have the roots of these specific dreads um, nice and tight, tighter than they were before. So don't worry about parting and all these other little small details. You're not even going to see them when we start the pin process. So don't worry about it. So once we've gotten our locks that we want in our bangs separated and styled, we're gonna work on the back part. So this is where we're gonna add the moisture. I have my own little leave-in conditioner I make. It has some suave conditioner, some oils, and some water, and I just use that to refresh my hair every couple of days. And this is what I'm gonna be using to get my hair ready to style here. So you're just gonna do this until the hair is fully damp. You fully, fully damp. Um, that is definitely going to be a key thing in this look. If your locks are short like mine, you won't be able to get the pull up into the ponytail the way you want it if you don't have um, super wet uh, locks. So just make sure that they're thoroughly, thoroughly soaked through. So we're just gonna go ahead and swoop down our edges just to start working on the ponytail part of this um, hairstyle. I'm just gonna, however you do this, you can use your brush, your comb, your favorite edge brush. However it is, you get your edges nice and sleek down to start your lock ponytail. That's what we're gonna go do. This is just the way that I do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that all of the edges are both on top where like the lock bang is and all the sides are set. And then we're gonna go back to the bangs. So we're going to take out our um, clips because, again, we didn't need to have a crazy professional retwist on these locks in the front. We just wanted it to be a little bit more sturdy. So what we're doing now is picking up the dreads and we're going to be lifting them high. I don't know if I'm explaining it better than I'm showing it to you. Just watch the video. I swear it's there. Basically grabbing two or three at a time and pulling them to the height that you want your bang to be. And then you're taking your bobby pin and sliding it through, keeping it in place. Don't really worry about the bobby pins right now because they will be hidden when we do the high ponytail portion of the video. And you're not even going to notice that they're there, which is also why it was like, you don't have to worry too much about the roots because once I do the ponytail part, you're not even going to see the base of the bang. So don't worry about it. Just worry about getting all these locks up and out of your face into the length and shape that you were trying to get them to be in for your bang. And then we go to the next step. bang in the position we want it it's all pinned up and we're comfortable with it we're gonna go back to the ponytail portion of the video we're just gonna grab up those two pieces that we slipped back and we're gonna put that as high up as possible i'm telling you like the higher the better just don't od and put too much tension on your locks because you don't want them to start thinning out and pulling at the root that's not cute but you see you don't see the uh pins you don't see the base of the bang all you see is a a lock bang and this is cute baby here you can leave it from here once you kind of got the groove of it and the aesthetic that you wanted like you could chill this half up half down is really cute but um i'm gonna show you how to get the look i did right after this commercial break. yes mommy yes mommy what can i do to help you oh i'm gonna do something this today oh right here 
and we can do it in the regular jars or any regular jar. And all we need is like sugar and vinegar and shit. All right, we clutch. Well, we finna make some pickles. So grabbing another scrunchie, what we're gonna do is, well, what I'm gonna do is leave out a few of my locks in the back. I don't know, it's just aesthetically pleasing for me, sis. I really like to leave out a few locks just laying down there right now. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna pull the rest of my hair up and combine it with that first ponytail. For us who have shorter locks, I think this is a great method for you to get a ponytail. If it's hard for you to get all of your hair in one, do one ponytail and then grab the rest and then combine that ponytail together. That's really how I've been getting these sort of styles to work for me because my hair is too short to go up that high and I would have half of my locks hanging out in the back and I don't want to have up half down. I want a hot pony. This is how you get it done, baby. I promise. It works every time, okay? So basically what I'm doing is just playing around, getting these locks in the position that I want them to be, getting kind of the shape that I want, um, wrapping certain locks around that are longer than others, you know, just really making it... Um, visually appealing um and that's really it i'm just gonna shut up and let me finish doing whatever the hell i do in this video and until next time videos bye